most people in America as consumers, as we've learned so far in our employee training of generally speaking retail or some sort of a product vended store, regardless of what the thing is from clothing all the way across to technology, is true. Most Americans have a standard expectation of when they visit a fast food restaurant, when they visit a sit-down dining restaurant, when they visit a type of a office supply store, when they visit a type of box shop or a type of public uh, family shop like Walmart or Meyer or Target, and openly they do have an expectation of the brand, of the quality of products that they will be there, the general prices that they will have, and openly speaking that there will at some point be some sort of sale. Now, having said that, we also have to talk about the realities of employees that they live in the day-to-day -day of typically poverty. The average retail employee is considered working at the poverty line because they are not usually considered full-time employees. They may have other jobs, so we have to work out time management schedules, and the best thing you can do for your company is when the employee comes in, don't just ask them what days are available. Give them the availability of these are the shifts we have available so that your people can have a standard, consistent time, and your people are not wasting time trying to pencil people in all the time. You also have to have some sort of policy on who and how and when people can trade shifts. You also should not have an anal retentive policy on about people being late because you don't need to dock somebody with some stupid warning because they're five minutes late to your store because their fucking clock is different than yours. And that pissed me off about working at a particular retail store. And I found it offensive because traffic happens, problems at home happen, and most people do not intentionally try to be late because they fucking know that in today's world of America that being on time or being a little early is expected. So you should be training your employees to say, we encourage you to arrive at this time for your shift that starts at this time. We encourage you to be here at least 15 minutes early or at least a half an hour early depending on whether or not they're doing work for you at that time. But at least 10 to 15 minutes early can be helpful to you. But you also know that people have tight time schedules. But if you give people a disciplined time schedule that this is when they're always working, then you have made a headache go away for your management, you've made a headache go away from your employees because then they know when their free time is versus when their work time is and when they're making a living. And openly in every morning meeting, there needs to be a reminder to every employee that this is how you've chosen to make in your living, and we are appreciative of your service. It makes it personal, and it makes it corporate at the same time.